Hello, hello everybody. This is Moni with Flowers by the Bunch. So today we are working on our shop, um, getting ready for Christmas. And I thought I would show you how I like to make a mailbox cover. So this is really one of those teardrops that would, um, that would hang on your wall. It's got a hook here. And so you would make more of a swag with it. Well, today we're going to use it and make a mailbox cover with it because it has a good bend and I can, um, I can manipulate it and make it work to go right on top of a mailbox. So it's got all of this. It's a pretty full piece. Um, it's got all these little green branches. So I'm just taking those branches and I'm just fluffing them. You don't want your branches to be flat or stuck together, so just very carefully um, pull those apart with your hands and just fluff that greenery up. And what I'm going to do is, because the middle of the, um, the middle, I'm going to have a bow. So I'm just going to kind of take and split my piece in half and half of my greenery is going to go to one side and the other half is going to go to the other. Okay, so I'm just kind of sweeping it to where, where it's going to be pretty on both sides. Okay, so next what I'm going to do, so there's my um, centerpiece. Now I have also, to make a mailbox cover, I've also taken a full, a large garland and folded it in, um, sometimes I've, I've folded it two or three times to make it full enough. And um, then I have zip tied it together and fluffed it up. And so the garland does the same, um, same thing. It just gives you a good base to be able to add some more pretty greenery to it. This is a little holly stem that we have here at the shop. Um, and so I'm gonna take this holly and I'm gonna just nestle it right down in to my piece. First, I think I'll take some of this pine because I don't want the pine to cover up my holly. So this is just a stem um, of artificial pine. I just like that it has different textures instead of all the same texture. So I'm gonna take that pine, I'm gonna nestle it right down in to my greenery. And then I'm gonna take that holly and nestle it right on top of that pine. So they're just laid one on top of the other. Now, the wonderful part about this is it all has wire in it so you can twist and turn and bend and make it work for you. I'm gonna take some zip ties. I like a darker zip tie. This is just a, um, I don't even know the length of it, maybe eight inch black zip tie. I'm just zip tying that greenery right into my piece. And then I'm going to twist and turn and nestle, mix my greenery. So there's one side. And then I'm going to do the other side exactly the same. Be sure to pull off all your tags. Um, just kind of fluff it up, nestle it down into your greenery. Now, the reason I'm using zip ties versus glue, um, we are in the state of Mississippi and it's warm. It's always pretty hot here. And so I find zip ties are going to hold things in place much better than glue. Glue pops off if it's really cold, glue's gonna pop. If it's really hot, glue's gonna pop. So I find zip ties are going to hold it into place perfectly. So I'm gonna cut the tabs off my zip ties and I'm going to fluff it and kind of twist it and turn it and see how this is going to bend so it'll bend pretty good to go right onto your mailbox. Now, another thing that I find that works really well is you can take some of the greenery that's on the larger piece. You're gonna take that greenery and you're gonna make a little twist tie to tie some of that greenery into place. So it works out. It works just the same as your zip ties. It just holds them all into place. Okay. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some pretty ribbon. So the ribbon I chose, it says Merry Christmas. It's reds and kind of a lime green. I'm gonna roll that ribbon off. I'm gonna, 
I'm going to cut a, long, a pretty long strip. And what I'm going to do with this ribbon is I'm going to lay it right in the center here. I'm going to also take some red velvet ribbon. Now, I like traditional red and green, or red and lime green. I just think it's fun. It shows up real well. We can do this with any color scheme that you like. So these are going to be our streamers for our bow. So I'm going to take those, lay them right here in the center of my um, swag. I'm going to take two of the stems and I'm going to twist them tightly around that ribbon. Now what that's going to do is hold my ribbon into place. Just like that, okay? Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie us a bow, a pretty bow. I'm going to use my printed ribbon on top. So I'm going to make a loop and then I'm going to twist that ribbon because the back is not pretty, but the front is. So I'm twisting to the left. I'm going to make a loop. I'm twist to the right, a loop, left, loop, right, loop, left, loop, right, loop. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut this short. I'm not going to leave long tails on it because I've already attached my tails. Next, I'm going to take my red velvet ribbon and I'm going to make three more loops in the red velvet. This is a short, a smaller, more compact bow. Now, with this, um, you can always add ornaments if you want to. Um, you can add just about anything into this mailbox cover. Okay, so my bow is put together. I'm gonna take a little bit of wire. I'm gonna twist it really tightly. And then I'm gonna fluff my bow. I always like to hold that ribbon in the center so my thumb is up underneath that center loop. I'm pulling and twisting to get that bow pretty and fluffed. So there is our bow. I'm going to take this wire and I'm going to wire this bow right into the center. Okay, I'm going to turn my bow because it Merry Christmas is written on the, I just want to make sure that the Merry Christmas is readable. And I guess really when you're riding by, you're not going to read the Merry Christmas, but if you walked up on it, you would see it. Now we can leave these streamers as long as we want to. Um, I always like to take the wired ribbon and kind of fluff it. Now it can certainly be wired down into the piece or you can leave it where it just kind of blows. And there we have it. There is our mailbox cover. Now how I like to attach this mailbox cover, I set it on top of the mailbox for a traditional mailbox. Now not necessarily a um, like a bricked mailbox. Um, we would have to make one special for a bricked mailbox. But how I like to attach is I take a piece of wire and I wrap it right here around this tip. So I'm just taking my wire and I'm just wrapping it right around the tip of that greenery so it's not going to come off. When I place this on top of the mailbox, I take this wire and I wire 
it to each end, to each tip, just like this. Mm -hmm. And that way it's going to hold that mailbox cover in place. Guys, I hope this video is useful. If you have any questions about how we put these together, please don't hesitate to leave that in the comments below. If you like our videos, please be sure to subscribe and check us out over on Facebook where we do videos every afternoon. Guys, have a great day. We'll see you real soon.